Today, because we're living in, uh, in North Georgia and the temperatures are usually running on an average about 90 degrees each day, uh, we have a problem with hive beetles here. And I always tell beekeepers that uh, hive beetles are usually a problem in hives that are weak. And so you may, may be asking yourself, well, how come I have weak hives? Well, because what I do a lot of is uh, I sell nukes. And because I sell nukes, I'm always splitting hives. As soon as they uh, reach the potential where I can split that hive, uh, I'll do it so that I can keep making more nukes. Uh, that temporarily weakens a colony. And so because they're temporarily weakened, I don't want the hive beetles to get a foothold in that hive. And I found a real good way to do that. I have two videos on uh, controlling hive beetles. The one uses the corrugated cardboard that you uh, sometimes will get from like a, a sign with a corrugated uh, uh, plastic and you use Crisco and boric acid. Well that works good in the cooler temperatures but now because it's about 90 degrees on average per day uh, you have to do something a little more different and what I have is what's called the uh, Better Beetle Blaster and I'll show you this. Bring it up close to you here. This is, this is the beetle trap, okay? And the bees will actually chase the beetle into this trap. Now, some people like to use mineral oil. They'll fill this up with mineral oil or vegetable oil. I prefer to use lime dust. And the reason for that is because mineral oil or even vegetable oil will start to go rancid. Once about 20 or so beetles fall into this bottom area, it goes bad, it stinks. And the beetles will refuse to run into there because they can smell dead beetles. So I use what's called hydrolyzed lime dust. It's the same stuff that they use to line ball fields with. And you can uh, get that at like a feed store. Um, uh, usually they'll carry it. And I fill it about, oh, maybe about a finger width um, full of the hydrolyzed lime dust. And that just dries the beetles out. It doesn't make any smell. And then if you have to lift the trap out of the hive for some reason, maybe to change them out, you don't have to worry about the oil spilling on anything. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you something that's real important when you install these traps. These are very effective. Um, they don't contaminate anything in the hive. They won't contaminate your honey. They won't affect your bees. The lime dust is non-toxic. All it is is just a drying agent. It's like a chalk dust and the bees don't come in contact with it. But what I want to do is show you why it's so important that these are installed correctly because if they're not installed correctly, uh, they can actually become a hiding place for the beetles. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. I took the lid off of this hive and I want to show you the correct way to install this beetle trap. So um, we, we're going to zoom in down to this area and I'm going to show you how we put one in. So I've got my trap, it's still a little bit dusty, but that's okay. So you see in here real good? Come on down over here because I want to demonstrate something. Here's, here's what a lot of people do by mistake. I'll just, uh, just watch this area here. You, the trap goes in between the frames. So if you need to, take your knife and just open it just a little bit. Put a little space in there. And what you want to make sure you do is you want this in all the way. Now that's not correct. What I just showed you, you see this gap right in here? This is where beetles will come hide if that's not down all the way. So you actually have to make sure you come in and you take your thumbs and you push down slowly and you'll feel it set down into place and even use your fingers on there if you have to. It has to be pressed down all the way. Make sure this is flush. That's very important because the bees will chase the beetles up onto here and those beetles will run into the holes. Okay, that's, that's what makes this trap effective. So if you have gaps under this, or if it's not down all the way, even just a crack, you're gonna find that beetles will then begin to hide under here. And uh, that'll frustrate the bees. So I just wanted to demonstrate, this is what I like to do. These are very effective. Uh, these will probably keep the beetles uh, under control wherever you live. Uh, if you're in Georgia, you're gonna see beetles, hot black hive beetles. So this is a real good way to keep things under control. If the beetles get out of hand, they can uh, make your bees abscond the colony. So you don't want that to happen. So that's a quick tip for today. So thanks for watching and enjoy your beekeeping.